Hey class, so for today's exercise, we're gonna be talking about proportions, but before we get to that, I wanna do a little talk about construction history. So construction history is all of the transformations that you applied to your primitive shapes to give it the shape that it is currently at. So if I select my little rocket piece, you can see in the attribute editor all of the different splits and moves that went into creating this shape. So we can solidify all of these um, sh like permanent changes that we made by deleting our construction history. So you just go to edit, delete all by type and history. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing again with the entire model selected. So edit, delete all by type and history. And so what this is gonna do is make the model just a collection of its vertices and edges and the actual construction history is gone. So we can no longer undo, but that's okay. We're basically done with this initial shape. Next, I have duplicated the model and I'm going to place each of these duplicates on their own layer. So let's go to layers, create layer from selected. I have just the first one selected and I'm gonna rename this spaceship underscore layer, so L-Y-R and just call it one and hit save. And then with the second one, I'm gonna do the exact same thing, create layer from selected. This is in the modeling, or sorry, the channel box layer editor. Add my objects and um, call it also spaceship underscore layer two. Now I want you to do three versions of this model with different proportions. So you'll eventually need to duplicate one more time Okay, so I'm gonna leave my spaceship one layer alone and then just work on the second layer. So I'll have like a standard to compare my additional um, proportion changes to. And I'm gonna speed this up quite a bit. Um, but basically what I'm thinking is that for my second configuration, I wanna try and adjust to see if I can make this spaceship look a little speedier. So ways that would make that look faster or um, more like it's kind of a race spaceship would be um, making these rocket pieces larger, um, making the body longer and thinner perhaps, uh, maybe adjusting the front or adjusting the overall shape so that it's a little more aerodynamic. So I want you to think about your spaceship and what's unique about it and how can you Acceler or um, accentuate those qualities for it. So I'm just gonna play around. Um, what's nice about this kind of stage in Maya is that you have your basic block out, but you don't have a lot of extra geometry that you need to worry about. We haven't beveled yet. Um, so now is a perfect time to start adding um, or playing around with these proportions. Once you start adding lots of extra edges, it gets more complicated to move around. It definitely still can be done, but um, now is the time to play with proportions. So please, you know, take the time, do a couple versions, and just imagine what it would take to make this spaceship faster or stronger or more of a passenger vehicle. There's a ton of different ways. So I'm gonna extrude these front faces in using my extrude offset and then do the double extrude method. So extrude again to have those pieces go in. So I'm gonna use those as a light. I am just making these tiny little rocket pieces um, a little smaller. Kind of moving vertices here and there so that it has more of that aerodynamic feel. And then I'm gonna keep this one giant rocket um, at the back. Oh, maybe not. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do is select these faces, extrude offset. So extrude them in and then extrude them in again. And I'm gonna turn this back piece into its own propulsion device. So it's gonna have lights on it and work it that way. So there's, you know, spaceships, an incredible amount that you can do. So I really want you to think about how you can make yours unique and special. 
Okay, so I actually like this one. So I'm going to save and just call this like Spaceship 3 and then bevel some edges. So I selected my model, press three for smooth preview, and you can see when it's smooth, it looks a bit like a stuffed turkey. Um, but I can fix that pretty easily by adding some bevels. So what are bevels? They are holding edges where you can create um, a fraction and two segments. So I'm using a fraction of 0.1 and two segments around the entire model. And that just basically is taking my edge and adding an edge on either side. And remember that Maya smooths between three edges. So it's instantly created this hard surface look. And what fraction means in this case is a percentage of the amount of the edge. So if you're basically rounding between the three points that you're creating, if your fraction is very small, that'll make a very tight corner. If you have a fraction of like 0.5, that means 50% of the distance of the edge. So that will make a very smooth corner. So I do like the look of this very sharp um, edge, but I'm also going to make my third configuration here and um, attempt to make some different bevel choices to smooth out the top. So I am made a third configuration and I'm just using control, click and drag to deselect um, different edges. And basically what I want is this top portion to be very smooth, so I'm not going to bevel it, but I will keep the edges around it beveled. And I am kind of just playing with where I think these bevels should go. Um, one thing, if you hold down control and click on an edge, it deselects it no matter what. Whereas if you have shift held down, it toggles the selection. So if it was turned on, it would turn off. If it was off, then it would select it. So definitely use that control, click and drag whenever you can. And so you can see here, I am going to bevel a lot of these outside edges and then keep some of these inside edges um, flat. And I'm using a 0.1 of a fraction, so that's 10% and two edges. So now when I hit smooth, you can see what I've got. I've got a very smooth top. I don't like the way that this front piece is looking though, so I am gonna go back, so just undo. And let's just bevel these pieces. So I'm just gonna select them. So to be honest, it's easier to just select everything and then control click and drag to deselect the edges that I don't want selected. So that's what I just did. Cool. So now I can bevel again a 0.1 and two segments. And now let's take a look. There we go. So I'm getting that nice smooth top edge. It's like kind of the visor and then the bottom is very sharp. So that's kind of an interesting thing. I can also play with beveling this um, bottom middle. And let's see what that looks like when I smooth. So that's kind of a cool look as well. Awesome, so I think this counts as my number three. I can go in and adjust any individual vertices um, that I like, but I'm gonna save this scene and keep going. All right, so for my last configuration, I'm just gonna duplicate the group. Make sure you're duplicating the entire group rather than just the geometry. I'm gonna put it on its own layer, and then I'm gonna see if I can make something completely different. So I turned on symmetry, and I'm just gonna move these pieces in. So I think my inspiration here is more like a frog. Because this does kind of have a very frog-like feel to it. And I just want you to see um, just how selecting a few vertices here and there, moving them forward and back, can generate a really different look. So I'm thinking this would be more of like kind of a, I don't know, almost like a fighter plane. Um, just a little one that would be part of a squadron or something. So not the main ship, but something else. So remember if you're selecting your faces on the edge, you can click and then shift, double click the face next to it. And that will select all of the edge loop around. And then just scaled that down to have some more tapering. 
And then this is a pretty close to Frogger looking ship. So I hope you can see that by selecting and just moving a few things around, you can get three completely different looks or at least moderately different looks um, very quickly. And I'm just going to do the exact same thing with the bevel. So I just selected everything except for that top region. And this one I added a smoother bevel, so a 0.25. And you can see what I've got. All right. So I hope you can see that just spending a few extra minutes playing with proportions, pushing vertices, adding a little bit of scale here and there can generate, um, you know, four different unique designs very quickly based on the work that you've already done. All right, I hope you have fun with this and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks class.